All right. Well, time for us to dive into relationships. And uh, with us here, of course, we have Benjamin Zulu this morning, who's a psychologist. Karibu sana to the show. Asante. We want to talk about hidden triggers in every relationship. And, you know, one minute you're in love, one minute you're like, where is this person from and how did they end up in my life? Um, <laughs> sometimes you're in tears of joy. Sometimes you're in tears of pain. Sometimes they are a prayer partner, other times they are a prayer point. So, you know, relationships are, can be very volatile. They, they have their ups and their downs. They have their seasons. And uh, part of maybe the struggle with all of those is what we're calling hidden triggers today. These are silent, maybe pre-existing, shatter-ready things that can, can really break a relationship. Um, so the question we're asking you today is what are your triggers do you know what your partner's triggers are as well so benjamin maybe just give us an overview first of all of triggers and relationships because i think sometimes we enter relationships very naive that because we feel in love like it's always going to be that way and we kind of almost put aside the fact that this is a whole different person with a completely different background and a completely different personality uh, uh, just first of all, this is a very important topic because um, the negative cues are not discussed. Negative cues are those quiet gaps that you can trip into if you're not aware of them. Mm -hmm. Positive red flags we all can see. It's those things that potentially troublesome right. and are not visible right. that end up ruining us. And they so, don't look troublesome in the No, they beginning. don't. Yeah. When we are not, for example, one of the biggest triggers in relationship is your ex. Hey. <laughs> If you say you're going to talk to your ex today about anything, if you say you met your ex somewhere, it's there's nothing positive I want to hear about your ex. Just know that. <laughs> Don't just you know, we all wish we were the only person in our lover's life. Right. We it's it's we know it's not real, but it's ideal. Yeah. <laughs> we all wish. That's why I encourage girls who are virgin to remain virgin. <laughs> because you are you are escaping regrets many of us deal with mm -hmm. i encourage those girls some are virgin in the body but their hearts have been broken 20 times mm -hmm. <laughs> i want to encourage people to be pure in reality if you can maintain yourself and just the bible says you don't need to learn so much about the world and sin <laughs> so called knowledge and secrets mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. you don't need to experiment part of um the, the, uh, when we come to relationship joys we come under an emotion called romance or infatuation sometimes i call it um neurochemical overcharge <laughs> it's a very strong infatuation it's very sweeping it's fire you know yeah. you're thinking about this person and when they you see them you feel butterflies you know they touch you and your knees melt you know and you, you hug and you don't let go you know you just hold hands throughout it is a honeymoon phase very and it's important for us to come together but isn't there also a different i grew up learning the difference between love and lust infatuation and romance now like, i'm talking about love actually, itself yes there's a difference there's a very big difference because some of these guys are just tatamekaing for no i mean their knees are just <laughs> but it's not for the right reason that's true <laughs> <laughs> it's very true there's a place for lust but what i'm explaining is a face of true love okay when you meet your true love there will be a very a face of strong chemistry very right. strong chemistry right, right now that is only a face and it's called forming once you marry now that chemistry is supposed to morph or change to something more stable okay uh the, the next thing is what you call now the true love the first one is usually the flower a lot of fragrance a lot of storm but it's it's not sustainable because you tune out the whole world you tune out your work you tune out your your parents you tune out everybody to be with this lover yeah. during that phase that's when we are very childlike and we think this this is the best person we idealize them the next phase of true love is where the, the charm wears off and you begin to see them more for who they are that they have their own struggles they have yeah. their own weaknesses yeah. and, 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 when we see them that way that's when you begin to see to get disappointed for some idealizations we had filled into our minds about them mm. that disappointment phase brings friction and the friction we call it storming the first stage of coming together is called forming the next one is called storming the storm and then the next one is called norming and the final one is called performing mm -hmm. the four of them but this first stage when we come together is very romantic but it's very ideal and unreal Mm -hmm. When you go to the next one, it's called uh, now stabilization. You begin to know that I also have struggle. I have exes. I have my past. I have things. Some things I can't control. Sometimes, and I want to tell you something about men that they won't tell you. Okay. <laughs> the 
that's something they want to tell you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the, the, all our energy as men is tied to our sexual drive. Mm -hmm. So those who want to say, how do I know that he can perform? Check whether how he's behaving outwardly. That energy will continue everywhere. <laughs> So men who are energetic and charismatic also struggle to tame their sexual passions. Okay. Does not mean when I'm not married, when I'm married, my wife is not meeting my need. But there's a part of our sexual need that is greed and which we must tame. What did God mm -hmm. tell Cain? Sin stands at the door. It is seeks to have you, but you must learn to master it. So yes, I have my wife who meets my need, but I must con constantly tame my greed. Now greed is what you call the lust. I wanted to differentiate mm -hmm. that for you. <laughs> so lust is that thing that is selfish. Mm -hmm. That thing that is out of control, that is, uh, you're just going by your instinct and it's, uh, it's impure, it's exploitative, it's excessive, it's out of control. So when, you, when, the, when the passions of men are not tamed, that's when you have lust, that's when you have greed, that's when you have people behave ir They do one thing that ruins work of 20 years right. in three minutes. Right. That time they are obsessed. The sexual energy for men can become obsessive. Let me tell you a funny example. When you see animals running, donkeys, <laughs> cocks, male things running. Remember, men have such a thing. <laughs> Only that we don't run that way literally. <laughs> but we also struggle with that kind of energy. Okay. You see them chasing, 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 chasing. <laughs> so that testosterone is the same in men. They won't tell you that. Okay. We're not saying that. Mm -hmm. But it's the same emotion. <laughs> It's the same emotion they're struggling with. And when, when women love, they use oxytocin. Women bond using oxytocin. Uh, with something we call trust molecule. Sometimes we call it trust molecule because it's emotion for bonding. That's what women use mostly. Now, men are using a very dangerous one called testosterone, okay? <laughs> They must desire their women sexually. And then, uh, please, don't deny your man his cookie if you love him. Even if you're punishing him, use punish everything else. You better deny me the ugali. You can deny me the car. <laughs> Look for, look for everything else to deprive me. Right, right. <laughs> but not that one. Yeah. Because even when things are okay, I struggle to tame it. Okay. <laughs> now, please don't do us in my struggle. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, when we come together, one of the triggers is to, tri to, to try and injure my, 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 my confidence in you that you are mine alone by bringing up a past ruler. A past, uh, you know, uh, men are very territorial and we always think in terms of the sultan. I'm the sultan in this woman's life. Now, you want to tell me about an ex-sultan who is returning <laughs> you know that you talked he chatted you i'm not i don't mean all of us are immature and are not understand sometimes you're working with somebody who used to date somewhere so you we, never want to know at all at all don't tell me no but what if the so you've moved on fine but what if the guy what where is the honesty line like where are you at what point are you supposed to be honest and open in the relationship you don't want anything to do with him but are you supposed to say by the way this person has been texting me i'm just letting you know and that's okay but uh -huh. what am i supposed to do with that information <laughs> so again I'm, I'm also hoping i'm marrying an adult person yes. who can guard the doors through their life that's true <laughs> the problem in the pre-25s they act helpless but he keeps texting me what do i do i did not leave me alone now he can't stop what should i do now <laughs> i don't want to hear that nonsense of childishness right. i expect okay, I you to lock the do. doors of the access of your life <laughs> by this time there's we a afraid. lion outside i don't know what to do lock the door <laughs> <laughs> That's the, I, I tell you, so I, I don't mean, you know, when, 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 when you are true, uh, when we are mates, we share life. Whatever happens, you tell me something interesting. Imagine so and so called me today. I, that's no problem. I don't mean that's a problem. Right. But I become a problem when you begin to talk like you are disturbed by their call. And mm. you are, I mean, low in a long in. There's, a yeah. guy, there's a guy I worked with and the lady told her, I'm going to a party and I'm tagging along my ex. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Just imagine that. Benjamin is about to jump off the couch. <laughs> Joyce, we have stupid women. The Bible says foolish Ay, women. Benjamin. Foolish women tear down. I'm using I'm quoting Bible. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Foolish women. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> foolish women destroy their family, destroy their home with their own hands. <laughs> this woman was very foolish. Telling the guy I'm tagging along, uh, don't be insecure. <laughs> so I told the guy, you uh mind games. Mm -hmm. You're being prepared <laughs> to be cheated on in the name of <laughs> You're supposed to be mature and tolerate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh so my goodness. It's, 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 one of the trigger is, is the other one is former former unfaithfulness. If you have ever cheated on me, if you have ever gone out and I've ever I've forgiven you, and I've, then you start bringing that up in a way, in whichever way, or telling, throwing it back to me. 
or, or break anything of which violated our trust. As I told you trust is very delicate. And if it is yeah. broken, it takes us delicate work to build it again. And it takes a lot of courage and risk because trust, love re means vulnerability. Yeah. Me being very vulnerable to you. If you crush that, I'm so hurt to the fiber of my being. The deeper they love, the deeper they hurt. Mm -hmm. You follow the pattern? Mm -hmm. The deeper you hurt a person, the deeper you love them, the more they can hurt you if they misbehave. So if you have once violated my trust and then something, you begin to behave in a manner that looks like how you had behaved that, last, that other time. What do you expect me to think? Mm -hmm. I'm mature, yes, no, 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 I've come to, but what, one of the things when you forgive each other is you should not behave in a manner that suggests that you are back to that because it will bring back right. the pain. Yeah. So even if our mood was good and it was bad there and, and then suddenly you behave or you use the same words you used on another person. Mm -hmm. And it ended up in unfaithfulness. Same it can ruin the mood. It yeah. can ruin the mood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want us to take a break. And when we come back, there's a lot more triggers that I want us to discuss. Uh, the respect trigger. We're going to be looking at the resentment trigger, the value trigger as well, um, the despair trigger, and even the stagnation trigger. We keen to get an understanding of what all of these different triggers are all about but triple one triple four triple one is the sms sign also send your feedback on our facebook page at switch tv kenya and we'll be back after this All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu, and uh, we're talking about hidden triggers in every relationship. And uh, we've talked about the first one there being your ex, just a no-go zone. <laughs> Wave your white flag, don't do it. <laughs> Very good. All right, uh, let's move on to uh, what is called the respect trigger. And uh, this is about sort of, you know, just a bare minimum of respect. And there are those people who will completely dismiss their partner's complaints, their observations, their feelings even sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it just translates as a lack of respect. And we need to say that it's impossible to love a person if you don't trust, if you don't respect them. And they cannot feel valued if you keep violating me as a person. Respect is a personal violation. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you do not show regard for my dignity, it's impossible to turn around and say you love me. And, and part, of the, part of the way to show respect is simply respect. A person, be sensitive to my feelings. Mm. If you say something that you suspect hurt me, don't keep quiet there and, and act like you don't know that you hurt me. There are people who hurt you and they wait for you to come and say, you hurt me. And then they say, okay, if I hurt you, then I'm sorry. It's mm. like they're putting it as a condition. Mm -hmm. You need yourself to initiate the conversation. And say, I realize when I say that time, I think it was a mistake. On my part, I had not realized it, but I think it uh, did not come out well and it hurt you. Okay. That's the best way to show respect. When you apologize, you show that you respect me. Sometimes you not only apologize, but you also, um, uh, you, 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 we call it amends. You do something to correct and heal me. Have you noticed that on the road in, when you're driving and a person cuts you or you cut them wrongly and you have not seen them, but it was genuinely mistake. Sometimes they feel agitated. But if you just wave to say, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. it, it calms most people. Mm -hmm. They can see it was not Matharao, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. You are not doing that to look down on them or cross their path or hurt them. So one way, let us, and let's make this very basic. Because I hear people say, I've been this guy, he beats me up. You know, being this guy, respect is the minimum. Yeah. By the time a person lays hands on you, the respect is yeah, long seriously, gone. That's not love. I th and we need to say this. It's not love when someone is abusing you. We need to stop that. And let's warn our mothers who tell their daughters that they must. In fact, they model to them accommodating abuse when they stay with a person who is battering them in the name of for the sake of their children. What are you preparing the children for? What are you modeling them for? Mm -hmm. Tell your children that their respect comes number one. Not love, not marriage status, not anything. Your personal respect. And so many times, we do not quit on people because we have given up on marriage. We quit on people because they no longer respect us and we want to maintain our dignity. And we say the other day, personal respect, self-esteem, dignity, that is all you are made of. If your respect is taken away, your self-esteem, you are reduced it to a thing. If you no longer feel you respected as a human being, you, there is no point in saying I'm in love or I'm in any kind of relationship. So mm. let, let, let relationship, I mean, respect be non-negotiable. Mm. And we can go ahead and say, I, I think we should give people permission to unlove us, to stop loving us. But we must never give people permission mm. to disrespect us. Sure. That is a boundary we must always say. You cannot talk down on me. You cannot embarrass me. You cannot lay your hands on me. 
we can disagree we can agree to disagree we are adults mm -hmm. nobody is another person i don't know where people get this mindset that when i marry you I make you my my slave or something mm. I, I, have you heard that people will show you instruction you must not hang out with those friends i said if you try out you suffer consequences <laughs> who are and you talking to imagine <laughs> Imagine uh, yeah. there are people who have forgotten that love does not mean being bound. Right, and that's not to say that your partner shouldn't say anything and you don't do. I, I don't think that's the point here. We're talking about people who are controlling exactly. and are overpowering over you. Now, true love, even in faith, is obedience. Exactly. Right? So, if you know something is going to bother your pers your partner, don't do it. And there comes a time that I can tell you what I'm uncomfortable with. Right. We can discuss respectfully. Right. But this thing of Not a person commanded. issuing restraining orders as if they are talking to their servant <laughs> or talking to a child. <laughs> I say don't remove that cloth, remove check. <laughs> and there are ladies who try to control their <clears throat> men like puppets, especially if the man has, has been a sinner before. You know those guys mm. who have been caught sinning and they repented, but they were forgiven under very strict conditions <laughs> that they must never say hi to anybody else. <laughs> They must never carry anybody in the car. Oh, <laughs> say anybody in the car. So I have met brothers who agreed to pardon on very impossible terms. And they tell them, what you don't realize is this is no longer a relationship. Yeah. There's no trust anymore. Okay. There's no respect anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> Mercy from Nakuru here is saying, uh, Morning Joyce, how are you? I missed the morning devotion. How will I get it? You can watch it on YouTube. That link will be provided later. Uh, someone here is saying, Hey Joyce, please help me differentiate between mistrust and insecurities. I feel like I need to get that. Sometimes insecurities are not about a particular person. It could be something with you uh, that you have a tendency to fear. Fear that is disproportionate to the threat. Okay, that's insecure. Mm -hmm. Okay, secure means assured and confident. All right, insecure means not assured and fearful. Are mm -hmm. we together? Mm -hmm. Now, mistrust is towards a person. <laughs> you mistrust a particular person because they have given you reasons, or you yourself observe, you interpreted things to mean that you cannot count on them to do the right thing. Right. And so we ma you don't trust a person for cheating if they've cheated. Exactly. But you have insecurities about cheating even when the person hasn't cheated. You could be coming from your exes, past your past experience. experiences. Right. And we must also warn people that sometimes people are insecure about you because they know you're capacity. Mm -hmm. Did I want men not to sleep with women whom they intend to marry? Mm -hmm. Because you are showing her what you are capable of? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you can do that to women? And he keeps being afraid <laughs> that you are doing with others what you did to her? Mm -hmm. And if you are one of the uh, uh, sexual discipline is mandatory choice. We need to tell all men who are pursuing any career, who, are, who, are, who have a calling in life, who have to walk a straight path. You, Proverbs insists so strongly that you must tame your horses. Yeah. And that's one of the battles. You know, we are being taught to conquer the world. But yeah. you don't know that conquering the world is easier than conquering yourself. That's right. <laughs> we must tell men that there's another world inside to conquer. Yeah. And I use men more because, as I told you, whenever you see another male and more running, <laughs> pray for us. <laughs> so all those brothers out there using Songs of Solomon, put a ring on it first. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you're not supposed to be quoting that when you're not even married yet. Like, you know. Exactly. Okay. okay. It's the men. It, it, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's it's mistrust is about what a person has shown you they're capable of, but sometimes you're mistrusting them because of their history. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of maybe mistrusting someone because of their history, someone here says, "Good morning, Joyce and Benjamin. Every time I snoop in my man's phone, I always find him flirting with girls, and every time I confront him, he always says he doesn't mean what he writes." <laughs> okay. So I w <laughs> wow. So I wonder, is there, is that their nature or what? That always triggers me to leave him and go away with my baby. Please advise. You have entertained that behavior for too long. Yeah. First of all, the snooping is not a good thing. But when you suspect mischief, you have the right to look mm -hmm. because I have your, I have given you my heart. We're in a relationship. I'm yeah. vulnerable to you. I will not be policing you, but I can look when I have reasons to look, mm -hmm. and I should always know the passwords. I should always know the, the, I will not be using them every day, but if need be, again, you can collapse. And I'm the only partner who they will call, hey, come help your husband. <laughs> then I start saying, I also can't open the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But listen, when, when a person violates, cheating, we say it, it's, it's not just sexual, sometimes it's emotional. Yeah. Sometimes it's using the same emotional attention and praising a person the same way you'd have praised me. Mm -hmm. Flat, you should draw the boundary. You should make, make it uh, known to him that you do not want that. Yeah. And you guys would come at an agreement. If you cannot stop this, me, I can't put up with it. 
Yeah. So and I, yeah, I agree. I think maybe she's put up with this for too long. Yes. Because how are you caught flirting and then you say you didn't mean what you wrote? Why did you write it? Yeah. How can the one you, you wrote to know that you did not mean or you meant it? Wow. Okay. Someone else says, hey, Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> You're many times. <laughs> Three times they've called you. <laughs> <laughs> They say you're brighter than 24 elders put together. <laughs> <Thank No, no. laughs> I wish you were my high school teacher. Ningepata A plus in your subject. <laughs> Thank you. I'm learning a lot. That's Haggai Nelson watching from. Oh, it's Dabu. a guy. Yay. It's a guy. A brother is learning. A brother Who is was asking where are the good men? <laughs> there is one of them. Haggai, are you married, man? I want to advertise you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay uh, someone here is saying hey Joyce I need advice I'm in Kitengela I was once in a relationship but we were struggling with the boy <laughs> I think that's already a problem uh, maybe he wasn't mature enough but anyway you say we were struggling with the boy because he had girl issues a lot of girls and we used to break up but because of the love we got back <laughs> I'm not finished the SMS though I know it Wait, okay, I continue <laughs> I know what is going on. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> One day, I got pregnant. And for, <laughs> <sighs> I told you I know for the first going. month, he was okay. But then the next month, he started looking for a reason for us to break up. Of course. So, so one day he came and carried all his belongings. We were living in the same house. After a while, his friends... Oh, this is quite a long SMS. Okay, let me read. Oh, my. It's very long. Let me read it quickly. After a while, his friends came to know I was carrying his child. He came and told me if I wanted anything, I could ask for help. The pregnancy was on the fifth month. And I went to ask for money to go to the hospital. I found another woman at his house. I felt bad i even became more sick um okay let me try and fast forward do you need to do you need to read all it's quite long (laughs) very probably the longest sms i've ever received but we have received real facts we've received i can can tell you what is going on this is a pre-25 and that's (laughs) dating a pre-30 they don't know what they're doing she gets pregnant as if it's i have to read this part okay please read it so i guess she got the baby informed him and his mother For the first week, the mom kept checking on them, then suddenly stopped. He pleaded for her to forgive him. Wasn't sure he had changed, but she really loved him, so she forgave him. And then he told her he doesn't have a phone, but in the real sense, he changed his number. And the friends sent screenshots, and he was in pictures with another girl. The baby is five months old. And he's only sent 2,000 I'm shillings. I'm tired of this nonsense. Let's shillings. go down. Since Forget about how much. Born. Even if it was 200,000. <laughs> Let's wrong. go back. That Let's go back wrong. to this. Let's go back to this. This girl acted senseless without <clears> thinking. <throat> you do not get pregnant without checking who you're dealing with. You don't live with a man before he marries you. You don't date before you develop your career and have Rich. money to finance your own life. You do not date a man who is still exploring with women. You first define your career, grow up, know where you're going, get a man who can do that. This nonsense is avoidable. Don't tell me about na- you traumatizing this stupidity. Mad. Listen, grow up. You don't, relationship is not oxygen. Ah, you grow up fast. Don't remove your clothes except when you go to the bedroom. When you remove the clothes for him, did you think you're going to perform sacred dances in the new <laughs> In the way I along the way I got pregnant. Did the pregnancy descend by wind pollination? What are you, what are you thinking when you had sex? Y'all done made him mad. This is a pre-25 nonsense I said I want to talk about. If you if you act without thinking, you end up with this kind of nonsense. Think fast. Don't get relationships before you develop yourself. Have your own money. Know what you want. Date a man who is going somewhere, who right. is serious with you, who is not disciplined, who is settled. This is, thank you for bringing that up. I hope pre-25s listen. Cross your legs, lady. <sighs> Keep them together. That's the nonsense I daily in my inbox every day. And they have all the whole hour to write five pages. And then, and then the mother did this. And then the ex did this. And then I found this one. And <laughs> I don't have time to read nonsense. My chair is shaking. I feel like I'm going to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupidity. Ruin. Do you know why I'm annoyed? This is a dream shutter. This yeah, galley no, potentials. Sure. This galley that gift to give the world. Look, us and you are suffering for the wasted of your dreams now. Now you are firefighting, running after a man, talking about 2000, talking about the mother, talking about cows. Talk- How did you end up here? Why did you live with a man? Where was your family? You should have been home. Mm-hmm. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It's true. And we need to have these conversations. I think 
We need to do better for ourselves. When you are young, read the Bible. When you are young, preach in church. When you are young, go, go to Kesha. When you are young, do the th develop your skills. How did Zuckerberg invade Facebook? Was he sleeping with a girl? She was ex he was experimenting with his gifts. The reason we have heard about Joyce is because this is what our young people are doing. Who invented WhatsApp? A guy was trying to experiment and try things. Ah, no, mm -hmm. we need, and I've, I've asked God to give me 20% of young people who have their heads straight, mm -hmm. who can hear this message and start by developing themselves before they go to relationships. You need to find your calling in life first yeah. before you remove your clothes and start having sex. Jamini Benjamin Aleteo Emaji, Natawel. Eh? Joyce, let me tell young people, this is not what you need. You need first to develop your skills. Bring your gift to the world. Yeah. We need it. And Aki, gentlemen, step up. Seriously. It's not just the chick here. Even the guys, step up. And how are you a father and you've sent 2,000 bob to your father? I mean, He was not so trying to be a shame. father. He was trying to have, to have fun. Okay, father should be responsible, but this is not a father. This is a wild it's a boy. boy. It's a boy. Thank you. Wild. It's a boy. I told you about Melvin's running the testosterone. Can't you see the familiarity and now? And remember, I told you, she's the one who started off the SMS saying we were struggling with the boy. So you yourself actually knew he wasn't And then he has mature. a girl problem. You call, right. a girl pro you call it a problem? Okay, let's move on from that one. Um, na kwambia, I'm only 17, but wherever Benjamin Zulu goes, niko hapo, pampa to pampa. <laughs> Now, Mimi, in this relationship, world, I take him so I take them so seriously. Thank you, Asante Sana, for that. Man, my time is is actually running out. Unfortunately, this Taiwan SMS has taken up quite a bit. Um, but let's quickly touch on some of the other triggers: resentment, stagnation, despair. Resentment is that one of shirking responsibility and just dumping it on your partner. You're right. Stagnation is you constantly repeating the same mistake. What do choka? People get tired. And, and just let's say, where, where there's no growth, we cannot stay together. Mm -hmm. Relationships are like bicycles. They can only be stable when they are moving. We said when you come together, start growing each other. Start looking at the next project, the next thing. Start growing to the next level. Don't keep on. When you stay together, it will be stale and stagnant. Water stinks. Yeah. Some people just collapse for staying in the same place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eh, I think we're going to call it our day here. But pre-25, young people, I hope you've heard. I hope you're paying attention. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. And half of these relationships never end up anywhere anyway. So please, focus on yourself. The world needs you to show up in your full potential. Thank you. The world needs you. This country needs you. What you have, nobody else has is in the world. That's true. Why are you denying it to us? Use your energy first to grow. D respect your seasons yeah. in life. You can have sex for the rest of your days. For now, just <sighs> chill out. If this girl had a car carrying a girl there, there would be so much crisis. Grow up first. I said, don't be broken, broken at the same time. Choose one struggle. Come on. Choose hey, one choose struggle. Choose your struggle, by the way. Hashtag that. Get a money first. You cannot be abandoned by men and money and God. <laughs> Get the money first. So that if men abandon you, at least you have some money and you can go to church and give some offering and pray and go home. Nini watu mekasirisha Benjamin sana. Leona hata suti yake mzuri meanza kutokana jameni. Pole baba. Thank you, thank you. Okay, wacha ni malizia. You can find him at Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere. God bless you. And we'll be back after this, you guys.